Hi there, I'm Krista with Fixed Fee IT, and welcome back to our series of everything you need to know about SharePoint. Today we're going to learn how to co-author a document in SharePoint. If you're looking for a specific part of this tutorial, you can find it by hovering over the progress bar below and selecting the section you need. And with that, let's get started. To begin, we're going to hop right into your Office site on SharePoint. From there, we're going to locate the document you would like to open. Here we have an Excel document that is authored by our coworker. Now let's say you want to work with your coworker on this document. Because the document is stored in SharePoint, it can be accessed by anyone in your company who uses the same SharePoint site and files that you use. It can be accessed both via the browser or through the specific Office 365 app. Multiple coworkers can work on a single document at once. You can see who is working on the document in the upper right hand corner. Right now, I am in this document and so is Larry, who is using the Excel desktop app to access it. We are able to watch them make changes to the document live and can even make our own changes to the document at the same time. Let's say we only want to add feedback to this document instead of editing it directly. To comment on the document, you can highlight the text you want to talk about and click comments in the upper right hand corner. This allows you to write a comment that your co-authors can respond to. Clicking on the comment will bring up the highlighted text. Clicking the highlighted text will do the same, bringing up the comment thread. By clicking the three dots, you can get a link to your comment, edit your comment, resolve the comment thread, or delete your comment. Clicking the text box below will allow you to reply to a comment, including your own, or even mention multiple co-authors so they all see the comment. All comments and comment replies will be sent in an email to your co-author or anyone who is mentioned, so you don't have to worry about missing anything if you have to step away. And that's all I have for you in this section. Now you should be able to co-author documents in SharePoint from the web and your desktop. Check out our other SharePoint tutorials in our playlist. And if you still have questions, feel free to reach out to our team at Fix IT. And thanks for watching.